In this video, I will show how to set this up to get a holistic view on the shadow and daylight condition for this building in this space. In other videos, I have shown how to create these perspectives and done the renderings and the daylight levels. First, I will create a new sheet. I will go to View and click on Sheet or right click on sheet in the project browser and say new sheet and then I can select a loaded title blocks in this case I've used a 30 times 63 paper size and that fits good for, for this I could also use a A2 or A1 but in this case I'll use this one so this is a totally blank sheet with a, without any uh, title block I want to have this in the, in this case. Early on I created a perspective view and I want to have that on my sheet so I will drag that view from the pro project browser onto the sheet and then place the view. The two other views I have that is images that I have rendered and simulated in the cloud function. Those I have saved from the cloud function by selecting the image and say download image and then save the dialogical name and then back in Revit I can place these images I can do that in different ways either I could create drafting views and place the images on these uh, drafting views there's both uh, pro and cons for this but in this example I'll just import directly to the sheet so I'll go to insert, select images I want to place, browse to the right folder, select the images I want to import and then say open and do it once again and import the other image that shows the daylight levels in this way. And then next step is to place these images in the right order or the right position that I want to have them have a title block here that is divided in three parts so I can use that division but I can see that this is maybe too big actually so I could select it and size the crop and I think instead of 200 it should be 180 millimeters so I can change that and select this scale locked proportion then we'll scale the home image without losing that size I have in this case as we see here and these images I could select them and say the height and width because I have simulated in this uh, square format then the images is also a squared format so I could easily just change the width or the height to 180 and then it will keep the proportion for the daylight simulation here it's a little bit different because it's a little bit wider than the square because of the legend I could then say that is the height that uh, that should be 180 and change that to 180 but um, when we traditional place views it will have these uh, blue dotted lines that will try to find the, the same height but in this case it doesn't work when I have placed the images directly on the sheet so instead of uh, doing that I can go to view and put a guide grid onto this view so I will do that create a new one I could call it something about daylight studies in this case I don't write the scale because this is perspective and they don't have a scale or else a typical write which scale I'm using this guide grid for and then we see this uh, grid all over the the title block and actually I want, want to have them divided up in with a center line for each paper so I will select it and instead of spacing of 25 I could say it should be 105 that's the half of a width of a4 and then we get this uh, division then I could move it a little bit up the guide grid I could select it use move because I want to have the upper line in the guide grid as the top 
for the images here and I if don't like the the size of the guide grid and then I can just decrease it by dragging these drag points then I will start with the perspective here select it and use move finding the midpoint move to the intersection in the guide lines here like that I could do the same for this image I'll just move a little bit so it get easier to select the middle point here and place it in the same way and this one I have to move um, on top of the other one because I don't have the same middle point as these ones and I want to have them placed exactly in the same order so I have the end point of the corner and move it to the end point here and sometimes it helps to use the tab to get the right end point and then have it selected and use move again move from the guide grid here to the other one here and then I will have it placed in the right order as I want to have and then I can hide the guide grid again just go to the properties of the sheet and in the bottom we have the guide grid shown I could say none and then we don't see the guide grid anymore I don't want to have the title for this view so I will select it and choose no title and I can see this one doesn't have the right time because I should have some sun spotted areas here because this is the same perspective with the same time or it should be so I could select this one and when it's selected I can in the properties select graphic display options go to lightning select summer solar study here and I could choose a single day as I have done here go back right click activate view click on the sun and say preview solar study and type to the right time on day I want to investigate as I already have done in these two images when I have finished the finding the right time I deactivate view again by right click and deactivate coming back to the sheet then I could put some text onto the sheet explaining what it is go to annotate using text could have it aligned center for example and then draw a text box where I could write what it is this is shadow studies 21st of June at 12 o'clock and then I could copy this one by selecting it and use copy from one corner to another corner and say realistic rendering at the same time and then copy once again to the last image that is about illuminance levels and that is in lux so in this case I have a holistic view on the shadow studies and how it actually look with the realistic materials or as realistic it can be and last we see the different light levels in the view